My name is Ebenezer Amwako Entry, and you are so welcome to this YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, you are going to get videos that will set you up in your work with God and also with your prayer life. On this channel, you upload videos consistently to make sure that believers are guided to pray and pray and pray. If you are new to this YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that when we upload new videos, you can have access to them. And also, if you don't understand anything, kindly send us a message and we will get back to you. Also, make sure that this video you are about to watch, you will like the video, try and comment on it. And when you are blessed by the video, make sure that you share it to someone. Thank you. We have trivialized and make a mess of sacred things in the kingdom. Today, when you are you are talking about people falling under the anointing. It's like a joke. We have almost made a mess of everything. Do you know what it means to fall under the anointing? Apostle John saw Jesus in Revelation chapter 1. And he said, I fell as dead in his presence. The man rose up with a different gift altogether. He began to write the whole book of Revelation. Do you think that you can come into contact with the presence of God, fall under his presence, and be normal? And today we have members who fall for pastors they like and stand for pastors they don't like. What a joke. The day they feel like they fall, the day they don't feel like they don't fall. Sacred things. Daniel saw the Lord. He said, and I fell and slept deep. And suddenly when he woke up, he got understanding to kingdoms began to write even to the seven year tribulation and the antichrist to come people falling under the anointing rising up to make transformations in the world on the road of um, damascus when paul met jesus he said and when paul stood from the earth the moment the light shone he fell under the anointing and when he stood from the earth that was how an apostle was born who would affect the world even after 2020 years to come do we know the sacrifice of what we play with that we have made entertainment of it all the man of god needs is for the drama to create some things and the organist to play some things and people feel excited in them and they start to fall sacred stuff the bible said and ananias laid hands on paul and the skills left him and he was filled with the Holy Ghost. One laying of hands. Filled with the Holy Ghost. So when Apostle Paul also met his son. In 2 Timothy 1. He says that. Stir up the gift of God. That is in you. That which you received. When I laid hands. On you. Do you know what it means for a hand. To be laid. I'm talking about things that. We have made a joke of in the body of Christ that people don't value anymore that is why listen he didn't tell Timothy that come for a second laying of hands he says tear up the gift you receive when I lay down all you need is one laying of hands and understanding that you received a gift when that hand was laid then he said you did not receive the spirit of fear that means that the Holy Spirit came when I laid hands on you. Do you know what it means for a hand to be laid on a man? It is an exchange of spirits. He told Timothy that be not in haste to lay hands lest you share people's sins with them. That means that when a hand is laid, it's either something transfers from the head that has been laid on or the hand that is laying on. There should be an exchange. There was a sorcerer in the book of Acts 8 who followed the, the apostle, Philip. And he was doing all kinds of miracles, but the sorcerer was not moved. Until Peter came. And the Bible said, Peter began to lay hands on the people. And the people received the Holy Ghost. And the sorcerer said, take money and give me this gift so that I can also lay hands on people for them to receive the Holy Ghost said your money perish with you do you know what it means for hand laying to be done i'm just leading you to a place for you to understand that how we have missed 
things that should have ushered us into deep glories because of lack of understanding and our pursuit for just excitement all we need is to feel good that we came to service that was how service was powerful anytime you meet somebody saying service was powerful that means that that service he felt good but there is something more than feeling good enough with music just to entertain today all the church needs is somebody with a good voice no matter how the person is we employ the person onto the pulpit then we start engaging that voice because that person has a good voice when the bible gives us understanding of the consecrated men and priests when david was describing when he had to bring the ark back to his house and he chose 10 consecrated men the sons of asaph consecrated pure anointed and their job is to sing to the lord today what do we have david could play the strings and demons leave because he was playing with the depth of understanding not just to excite a man anything goes so long as service will be good anything goes so long as the people will be happy so we will neglect anointed people people who have consecrated themselves and choose people with branding no matter who they are and choose people with just skill and no fellowship with god because we want an excellent work may the spirit of entertainment be broken i'm talking about the church that will rise and say show me who god is i will only come to church when i can be taught until i grow into the measure of christ and the church will sit back and begin to engage people who have the knowledge and understanding to who god is listen to me it's better for god to be pleased than for men to be excited it's time we choose what is right to represent the church as it were what i see in today's church is the scenario of samuel in first samuel chapter 3 verse 1 and the child samuel ministered unto the lord before eli and the word of the lord was precious in those days and there was no open vision somebody says samuel ministered unto the lord that means the boy was actually into ministry he was working he was serving he was a true church worker ministering unto the lord before eli but let's see verse 7 the boy now goes into the tests of his work with god and amazingly he fails the bible said and god began to call him one midnight and god will call samuel and samuel will run to eli god will call samuel and samuel will run to eli i'm not really getting what is happening eli you you are the one eli said i'm not the one Samuel said you are the one you have been calling me eli said no then eli perceived that he has been working with a boy who doesn't even know the god is ministering to then eli gives him the key that the one you have been ministering to that you don't even know he's the one calling you and look at the verse 7 now Samuel did not yet know the Lord neither was the word of the Lord yet revealed unto him but verse 1 says the boy was ministering unto God so under what revelation was the boy ministry that is today's generation sir you enter a whole church and only the pastor really have fellowship with God from working body to everyone there is just ministering to God before the pastor and when the test came that God wanted to have real fellowship with the boy the boy found himself wanting because he doesn't even know who he was ministering to ah may the eyes of our understanding be open I said may the eyes of our understanding be open may our fellowship with God be established am I here with the church at all this has been you know why because the Hophnis and the Phinehas that must be standing in as matured to work the works of God with understanding were mercenary. So Eli had no option than to adapt a small boy. And that small boy too was ministering without understanding. That's what is happening. We find ourselves in church where people retire before their time. Hophni and Phinehas has retired. They have started messing up. We know how the ordinances of God works. But I think we can leave it to small boys to do it. And that small boy trying to work, 
still didn't know God. And today we have very anointed people who have retired from certain places because all they want is to be preaching from the altar meanwhile they could have been taking the, the lead singing so that god can move because of the fellowship they have with god they could have been playing their instruments because of the fellowship they have with god god would have moved in a special way but they have retired to give it to a little boy called samuel who doesn't even know god but i pray that a new move will happen in the church where we will rise up and begin to take places where we have to take. I hope you enjoyed this video and I believe that you were blessed. If um, you were blessed by this video, make sure that you click on the share button and share it to a friend. And also make sure that you like the video so that YouTube can recommend this video to other people so that they can also be blessed by the message. If you have any question, please make sure that you contact us and we'll get back to you. And also, if you are watching this video and you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, I want you to make that decision. Just contact us in the description. Call us and let us lead you to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. And lastly, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the, that notification bell icon. Turn it on so that when new videos are uploaded, you can be notified. Thank you so much and see you in our next video and prayer section. Bye.